Hello everybody! In this tutorial I will show you how to draw your own mouse cursor in Real World Cursor Editor. Start by clicking on the large Create button. Then select the new mouse cursor wizard and double click it or click Create. Switch to the Line tool in the toolbar. Draw a horizontal line with your left mouse button. Decrease the line width to 1 pixel. Change coordinates mode to integral coordinates. This helps you to position points accurately. Look at the points over the drawn line. Move the middle point, the green one, words and a bit to the left. When you release it, new green points appear and you may adjust the line further. When half of the arrow is complete, click the closed option in the right panel and create the other half. The closed option indicates that we want to draw a closed polyline. Our goal is to create a double-headed arrow. This kind of cursor is used for resizing of windows or for moving splitter bars. You can use the blue points to modify the line. But unlike the green ones, these do not split the line. When you are happy with the shape, choose a color. The color picker allows you to select hue, brightness and transparency. Finally, press enter or confirm the shape with a mouse gesture and the points disappear. Now we will fill the shape. Switch to the flute fill tool and pick a suitable color. That will be bright blue in my case. There is one more thing. Set the blending mode to paint under. Finally, click inside the shape. Notice that some pixels by the edges are not filled. We can either increase the filling tolerance or fix them with a pencil tool. And that's what I'll do. Switch to the pencil tool and click the pixels one by one. Thanks to the paint under mode, the outline remains smooth. The paint under mode actually draws the pixel and then places the previous content over the drawn pixel. And that is what we need when we want to keep the outlines smooth. Let's try our cursor in the test area. The trail it is leaving does not ori originate in the center of the cursor. That is because the hotspot of the cursor is not set correctly. Switch to the hotspot tool and notice the point in the upper left corner. That point indicates where the hotspot is. Click in the center of the double arrow to move the hotspot. Notice that the picture in the preview window has moved and it is now in the center of the crosshair. Verify in, in the test area that the cursor is working correctly now. You can make your cursor a bit more fancy by applying effects. For example, the bevel effect. Or the drop shadow effect.
The cursor is complete. Let's save it. Pick a suitable name and a folder where you have write permissions. Once saved, it is possible to use it. Active cursors can be changed in Windows control panel. But there is an easier way. Go to the cursor menu, then to use current floor and finally pick the horizontal resize cursor. Putting your cursor over the splitter or over a window edge now displays your cursor. That is all. Thank you for watching. You can learn how to make animated cursors in the next tutorial.